Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie and this is going to be a quick little video on a book haul that is mostly mystery and thrillers because apparently that's where my reading has gone this month is to mystery and thrillers. So first we have the book that I am currently reading and it's called Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. It is about uh, a house of horrors and the possible murder. So that's very interesting. A haunted house and a possible murder. It's very interesting. Then we have The Guest List by Lucy Foley. An exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island. The bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, the bridesmaid. All have a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. I've heard good things about Lucy Foley's writing. So I'm going to try this. We're going to see how it goes. I like Riley Sager's Home Before Dark, and I've read another book by Riley Saker that was pretty good so I'm hoping Lucy Foley will also be another thriller mystery author that I might like. I don't know. Then I have The Gray Man by Mark Greenlee. Greenlee? Kind of a, a thriller I think. Thriller-ish. Uh, to those who lurk in the shadows, he's known as the Gray Man. He is a legend in the covert realm, moving silently from job to job, accomplishing the impossible, and then fading away, and he always hits his target. Always. But there are forces more lethal than Gentry in the world, forces like money and power, and there are men who hold these as the only currency worth fighting for. In their eyes, Gentry was just outlived his usefulness. But Court Gentry is going to prove that for him, there's no gray area between killing for a living and killing to stay alive. So. Thrillery. Mystery and thrillers. That's what we're going for. And then I have Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Fenny. Feeny? Not sure. Think you know the person you married? Think again. Things have been wrong with Mr. and Miss Wright for a long time. Every anniversary, the couple exchange traditional gifts, and Adam's wife writes him a letter she never lets him read until now. Self-confessed workaholic Adam Wright has faith blindness. He can't even recognize his own wife, and Amelia is sick of feeling unseen. When Adam and Amelia win a weekend away to Scotland, it might be just what their marriage needs. This weekend may make, may make or break their marriage, but they didn't randomly win this trip. One of them is lying, and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. Ten years of marriage, ten years of secrets, and an anniversary they will never forget. Somebody on booktube read this book, and they enjoyed it. I think they gave it like a three or four star. Um... And so I'm going to give it a shot and see if I like it. Because you never know. Then I have The Terminal List by Jack Carr. I think we all know, just like we all know The Gray Man from Netflix, this is Amazon Prime TV show. He didn't start this fight, but he'll finish it. On his last combat deployment as a Navy SEAL, Lieutenant Commander James Reese's entire team was killed in a catastrophic ambush that also claimed the lives of the air crew sent in to rescue them. But when those dears to him are murdered on the day of his homecoming, Reese discovers that this was not an act of war by a foreign enemy, but a conspiracy that runs to the highest level of his own government. They have taken everything from him. Now it's his turn. With nothing left to lose, Reese applies lessons learned over more than a decade of constant warfare towards avenging the deaths of his family and teammates. 
and a thriller told with breathless pacing and relentless suspense. Greece ruthlessly targets his enemies in Washington's upper echelons without regard for the laws of combat or the rules of or the rule of law. Driven by love of family and country and an undying need for revenge, James Reese is on a one-man mission to confront the corruption of absolute power and those who would do anything to achieve it. Very interesting. I'm excited to read it when I read it, which, you know, eventually I will. It's just a matter of when. Next I have Celtic Empire, a Dirk Pitt novel, and it is written by Clive and Dirk Hustler. I think that this is more of a um how do I put this? More of an Indiana Jones type mystery. Uh, a murder, the murders of a team of scientists in El Salvador, a deadly collision in the waterways of Detroit, an attack by tomb raiders on an archaeological site along the banks of the Nile. The grand master of adventure brings these mysteries together in his most gripping thriller to date. That's all it says. But, that's interesting. The cover is interesting. The whole El Salvador and archaeological site, Tomb Raiders. It sounds interesting, so I got it. It was an interest buy. I haven't heard anybody talk about it or anything like that. So, yeah. These are my mystery thrillers. Yay! <laughs> And that is my little book haul that I just dropped all over my bed. <laughs> uh, if you like this video, hit like. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe. Bye.